We really love them for so many reasons. Uh, they are super convenient and you already know that heat and water helps you disinfect your menstrual cups. So just as a quick review, cleaning and disinfection are not the same thing. Cleaning removes uh, the blood and debris and dust and things like that, um, actual particles of things. And disinfection removes bacteria, germs, and fungus, and virus, and things like that. So ideally, you clean something before you disinfect it, so that all the debris is removed, so that uh, the disinfection can really act on all the surfaces of the object. Uh, again, cleaning and disinfection is not the same thing, but you have to do both. You will do cleaning much more often than you do disinfection. Disinfecting your menstrual cup will likely only happen at the beginning and at the end of your cycle, um, unless you just choose to do it more. And you might, because this is fun and easy, and uh, it's very, very easy and fast to do, and you don't need to stand there and watch a boiling pot or anything. So I'm going to show you real quick how it's done. Basically, you take off the lid from the device, you add a teaspoon of water into the center, and it's purified water. Um, you place the cup with the handle facing up, and you put the lid on top. Then you go ahead and you turn it on. The light comes on, and the heat cycle itself will only be about three minutes. However, caution, caution, the steam will remain in there really hot for quite a while. So the manufacturer recommends that you actually go ahead and leave the cup in there for 20 minutes. By that time, the steam will have cooled down and it's safe to remove the lid and take the cup out. And you get the benefit of an extra few minutes of really hot steam disinfecting your cup. So don't move it once you turn it on, just let it sit there and do its thing. And when you come back in 20 minutes, you are ready to take your cup out. Uh, it will be slightly damp because of the steam. So what you want to do is um, either dry it off with a paper towel or let it sit out like on a glass cup tray or something so that it can air dry. Air drying has the advantage that you don't leave any fuss from whatever you used to dry it with. So I hope you found this helpful. It's really self-explanatory. I think people are just going to love it.